Hey there, it's Joy, and welcome to my vlog. from a Manila school to a Cavite school. So maybe you guys are a little bit curious as to why of all schools, I chose TLSM HSI. For everyone who's not familiar with what TLSM HSI stands for, it stands for De La Salle Medical and Health Sciences Institute. It is a premier higher education institution located at Dasmariñas, Cavite. So I chose DLSM HSI because aside from the fact that my dream school is a LaSalle school, when I first entered the campus, I instantly felt like I'm home. The environment was so quiet and peaceful. The people as well are very friendly and accommodating. Plus, my school is the only institution in the Philippines and in the Asia to actually offer a bachelor's degree in nuclear medicine technology. Nuclear medicine is a specialized area in radiology which uses small amounts of radio tracers or the radio pharmaceuticals to examine organ and tissue functions and structures. The procedures under nuclear medicine are used for diagnosing and treating certain illnesses. The examples of diseases that are treated using nuclear medicine procedures are hyperthyroidism, thyroid cancer, lymphoma, and other bone pain that are caused by different types of cancer. As a nuclear medicine technologist, it is our job to administer the radio pharmaceuticals or the radio tracers to the patient as well as to operate properly the equipment that will map and detect the radio tracers within the patient. That will produce the diagnostic image on the screen or on the film that will be interpreted by a physician. The bachelor's degree in nuclear medicine was first offered in the LSM HSI back at 2018. The college department where our course is offered was formerly known as the College of Medical Radiation Technology and was renamed into College of Medical Imaging and Therapy on August 1, 2018. This course is offering a great future ahead of its students. Aside from a steady rate of employment, for the upcoming decade and a good salary after you graduate, this course also offers the students the opportunity to work on different kinds or different fields of medicine. The subjects under this course are also very interesting from Instrumentation 1 and 2, Nuclear Pharmacy and Pharmacology, Immunology and Serology, Venipuncture, Cross-Sectional Anatomy, Anatomy and Physiology, Radiobiology, MRI, and a lot more. Nuclear Medicine Technology as a course will really hone you to be the great healthcare professional you owe to be. The diversity and modernity of this course is very promising. Incorporating technology to medicine with great accuracy. <music> And even though I'm still a sophomore, I could really say that I had a lot of learning experiences whether during face-to-face -face classes or online classes. Back when we were still having face-to-face -face classes, we would get really nervous whenever there are moving exams, especially during our anatomy and physiology class. I think every med student could relate into this. The waiting game along the hallways of Wang Building was so intense. And I also remembered when we were on our freshman year, me and my friends would go to the library to study for an upcoming quiz or an exam. Those were the times that are actually fun, even though that's very challenging for all of us. Those are the hype and fun of face-to-face -face classes. But along with the fun, there are really a lot of challenges, struggles, breakdowns, and a lot of doubts. And we transitioned into online class, which is a very big adjustment not just to the students but to the professors as well. So despite 
the challenges and the struggles during this pandemic, DLSMHSI has provided a creative way for us to still learn. We have two platforms, the Moodle and the ILS.cloud, where we could track down our activities like our quizzes, exams, laboratory sessions, and a lot more. We also hold sync and async classes at different platforms like WebEx, MS Teams, Google Meet, and Zoom. Surely, there would be an indefinite number of challenges and struggles along the way. But as someone who is getting through it anyway, I'm gonna give you all my tips, especially to those who are interested in taking up BS in nuclear medicine technology. Tip number one, love the course. Because when you love the course, you will love the subjects under the course. And when you love the subjects under the course, you will be passionate on learning them. And when you're passionate on learning something, you will enjoy them. Tip number two, don't hesitate to ask questions. Since this bachelor's degree is still new to a lot of students and a lot of people, there would be unfamiliar terms that you will encounter along the way. So don't hesitate to ask questions, whether that may be to your professors or to your colleagues. Tip number three is to never compare. Never compare yourself and never compare the course. Take your own path and reach your own goals. Make yourself your own competitor because in that way, you will know your weaknesses and your strengths. Always be happy with someone else's achievements because surely, they worked hard for it just like how you worked hard to make your craft better. Tip number four, time management. Know your priorities and learn how to say no to unnecessary commitments. If you have upcoming exams, quizzes, or you have upcoming due dates for projects and assessments, make sure to do them first. Because having fun with friends and chilling could wait, but your deadlines and due dates are fixed. Tip number five and the last tip is to enjoy. Enjoy your college years because this is the peak of your youth. You will meet a lot of people and you will encounter different challenges. This is your learning phase, not just academically, but in life as well. You will become more independent and that's your stepping stone to be the person you really wanted to be in the future. Enjoy, but never be irresponsible. Still make right choices and decisions for yourself. So that is it for today's vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed and learned a lot from this video. If you are interested into taking up my course, which is the BS in Nuclear Medicine Technology, or going into my school, don't hesitate to visit the webpage of DLSMHSI at www.dlshsi.edu.ph or contact the admissions at 481-8000, local 5001 or local 8032. Comment down below as well your thoughts on my course and on my school, plus your video suggestions. Don't forget to like and subscribe. This is Joy and I'll see you on my next one. Bye!